let's continue with the cartoons because uh, uh, the first time you did the concert, you said it was four cartoons, four. then six, then six. Uh, and then you get to the, to the program you have now, but you said you have around 30 yeah. different and you switch. How did you pick uh, which ones you were going to use? Because there were thousands of, of scores there, cartoons. It has to be a difficult task. And, to, they're, to all, decide. and they're, all, they're all great and they're all wonderful in their own way. Our criteria and my goal and, and the goal of David Wong, my, my creative partner and producer and, and partner in all of this, was that the first criteria really had to be that the music is great. Because if you're going to do this on stage with a great symphony orchestra, and, you know, as you mentioned, we've been on stage with the Philadelphia Orchestra, the New York Philharmonic, the Boston Pops, the San Francisco Symphony. You know, if you have a great orchestra on stage, you got to give them great music. So there are a lot of cartoons in the Warner Brothers canon that have a lot of, a lot of spoken dialogue and, and less music. For us, it's the ones with the, a lot of music that, that, you know, are really attractive. And also these ones that play off of the classical music themes. So in Baton Bunny, Bugs was a conductor. Uh, there's another cartoon um, where he sings Wagner, the Wagner office, the What's Opera Doc, that was a brilliant cartoon. And then the Rabbit of Seville, he sings opera again. This time he sings Rossini. Very few opera singers sing both Wagner and Rossini. That's like unheard of. I, I can't think of uh, Maria Callas sang both Wagner and Rossini. A few others have been, <laughs> Bugs is in a very small club there. <laughs> Um, he also plays the piano at some point. One of my favorite cartoons in the concert is called uh, Long Haired Hair, where Bugs torments this opera singer on stage at the Hollywood Bowl. Um, the opera singer's name is Giovanni Jones, and Bugs then comes out dressed as a conductor, Leopold Stokowski, yes. in, in the gray wig. And so all of these cartoons, what they have in common is that they're not only great music, but they have music sort of as a theme, one way or the other. Corny Concerto is, um, was very interesting and, and it's wonderful. First of all, it's, it's the gorgeous music of Johann Strauss. So it's uh, the tales of the Vienna woods and, and the beautiful Blue Danube. But at the same time, the art direction for that is all Viennese and, and incredibly lush and lyrical, um, like a, an opera you would see in Vienna mm -hmm. or a ballet you would see in Vienna. And then by the same token, the Rabbit of Seville, um, it, it's all done sort of in an angular modern opera kind of look at the Barber of Seville. So what's opera doc is very Wagnerian. And everything is incredibly um, uh, lush and, and, and German. So they just really went all out to make these cartoons be as, as authentic as possible. And that's what we look for when we pick the cartoons. Although the, the Wile E. Coyote cartoons, now they really don't have music as a theme mm -hmm. in terms of the plot. And the plot for the Wile E. Coyote Roadrunner cartoons- It's quite simple. It, it's it's the, the same. It, it is <laughs> the same every cartoon. The Coyote tries to catch the Roadrunner. The Roadrunner uh, outsmarts the Coyote and drops an anvil on him, the end. I mean, that's, <laughs> But the cartoon itself are so brilliantly scored. And the one we did in this concert here um, in, in Roma, um, Zoom and Board, it's one of the best Carl Stallings, Milt Franklin scores there is. But it ends with a piece of classical music. Every chase scene, every chase scene at the end of, uh, of a Roadrunner cartoon is the Smetana Dance of the Comedians from the opera The Bartered Bride. So once again, classical music enters it there.